Hello, everyone. Can you all hear me? Yes or no? Okay. Let me share my screen. So today we'll start capacitors and capacitance. Now, what is the difference between these two? It is same as resistor and resistance. A resistor is the device. Resistance is the property of the material. It resists the flow of current, that is resistance. Same way, capacitor is the device. Capacitance is the property of the device. And third one will be inductor. It will have inductance. Inductor will have inductance. That will study in AC. Before AC. Okay. A capacitor is a two oppositely charged metallic conductor placed at finite distance. They are placed at finite distance. They are placed nearby. Like this. <laughs> now, it is a device by which It is a device by which capacity of storing charge may vary by changing the separation or medium between them. So we are separating by some dielectric or some other medium. <laughs> Sorry. Mostly we are separating by dielectric, 90%. No, no, 90%. Almost every time we are separating by dielectric. If we change the material according to that, we will have different, different variation. So that variation is not our topic yet. We will see that later. First, we will understand what is capacitor. <laughs> now, capacitors in the sense like you have seen this capacitor in your fan. Simple example. What is the work of that? Not just fan, anywhere. Yeah? I have shown you like a, huh, in your IC circuit here. In your IC circuit, your phone circuit. Those are capacitors. If you see here, observe properly. No. Black color will be visible? No. See, these are capacitors. This one, this one, this one, this one, these are capacitors. This is your resistors. This is coolant. And these are the processors, these two. And this I don't know. These are buses. For what I don't know. But okay. 
so like this you can understand here this is a this is for cooling uh, building the cooling thing and this is main circuit and these are capacitors now purpose of the capacitor is to give current instant instant power supply now if you remove capacitor from your fan the fan will move that is obvious but it will move very 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 slowly it will take it will go move it will start moving slowly it will rotate slowly 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 then it will take a pace then it will go to its original speed but we don't want that much time so we are using capacitor capacitor it will be instant discharge and instant charge charging and discharging that is the work of capacitor it will give you instant power supply the whole power which is which this capacitor has it will be given instantly so that it can work efficiently so it is a ratio of magnitude of charge on either plate and potential difference across the plate magnitude of charge q by v c equals to q by v Come on, make a note of it. then shall we go next unit of capacitance means charge coulomb potential difference that is voltage coulomb per voltage is equals to farad that is denoted by f capital f i guess you know like a whatever scientist scientist name unit has that comes with capitals coulomb will be capital c volt will be capital v meter will be small m length all that not length second will be small s but kelvin will be capital k like that Can you guys hear me right?
I cannot read message if you're writing. Okay, no. Okay, let's move next. Susceptibility. Susceptibility is a polarization of dielectric. Which is directly proportional to the value of electric field. So this is the dielectric constant equals to one plus susceptibility. <clears throat> Last time they have asked this question, not directly, but indirectly they were asked. Polarization. Is proportional to epsilon naught electric field and proportionality we are removing as we are writing susceptibility. A vacuum. Psi is equal to zero. Susceptibility is symbol is named uh, named by psi. Then writing. Sir, what is reduced value of electric field mean? See, electric field is reduced by epsilon naught times. What is epsilon time value? 8.85 into the power minus 12. That's so it is reduced form. So this is your reduced form for electric field. Yes.
Okay. So let's scroll. On very next important topic that is parallel plate capacitor. It will, there are so many types, parallel plates, cylindrical plate, plate, circular plate, whatever. Those are different, different way. We'll see only parallel plate. Now what it says, two parallel plate, metallic of any shape, let area be A, kept at distance D apart. So this is your distance D. In between they are kept this square, you see there is your dielectric. Dielectric means it's a material kept as an insulator. And this looks so big distance, distance, but it's not that much big. It's, it's very, very near by distance. Very, very small distance. Like uh, you can say, you can say they are just stick to it. Between that, you have some material cap. Like this. Even smaller than this distance. Okay, so formula is C equals to epsilon naught A by D. And Q equals to capital Q net Q, one minus one by K. QP is the induced charge and Q is the net charge. And K is the dielectric constant. And if you observe here, E naught, that means electric field is induced due to change in uh, this charges. See here, when you observe, let me zoom it. When you observe here, this is positive charge, this is negative charge. So negative charge will attract positive charge and positive charge will attract negative charge. So there will be transfer of electric field here in opposite direction. Electric field was in this direction, but induced electric field is in opposite direction. So net electric field E equals to E naught minus EP. E naught is applied electric field and E is your net electric field. That will be obviously, see this EP induced electric field will be very, very small. Okay. This induced electric field will be very, very small. So this E net electric field is equals to E naught approximately. Not exactly, but it will be small difference because there is an induced electric field in opposite direction. So we will subtract that. And now it depends upon material. We will have C value. C equals to K epsilon naught A by D.
make a note of it come on I guess by now you remember all epsilon values, right? Epsilon values, not values, just a value. Eight point five to the power minus twelve. And this k value will be given in question. Dielectric constant value will be given in question because every material have different different dielectric. So we cannot remember all materials, and we don't have to. Should be given in question. Shall we go to spherical? Have you done writing? Everyone? I hope done. Okay. Spherical capacitor. There are two concentric spherical plates. See, can you you can see here? One with R radius, R1, and another one is R2 radius. So if outer one is earthen, outer one is earthen. Earthen means it is connected to zero potential. You say zero. <laughs> See, earthen means not like necessary to be zero. It is actually accepting all charges. So most of the time we'll consider that as a negative charge. And at a zero potential. So whenever we are writing uh, V A minus V B, that is V A B. Same way, if we earthen this one, from if this B part is earthen here, it is also called as V A equals to V A B. Okay. When outer conductor is earthen, so <laughs> C equals to four pi epsilon naught R one R two by R one R two minus R one. R two means outer radius. This is without dielectric, and we if it is with dielectric, we have to just add K. There's no much difference here. Whenever we are in dielectric, we have to just introduce K. That's it. Whatever wherever it is. You can see here also. It was not K here. We have introduced K here. This is without and this is with. If inner sphere is earthen. Okay. When inner sphere is earthen, it will be same formula. Just we have to add four pi epsilon naught R two, the outer one. So 
so this will behave as a two capacitor in parallel make a note of both forms then we'll go for numerical Okay, let's try this question. A parallel plate capacitor is maintained at a certain potential difference. When a three mm slab, okay, is introduced between them in order to maintain the same potential difference, distance between plate is increased by 2.4 mm. Find the dielectric constant of the slab. If the space between the plate is partially filled with dielectric. We have this formula for partially filled dielectric. That is epsilon naught A by d dash minus t into one by minus one by k. Make a note then I'll explain you this one. Okay, now see here. Formula is equal to for especially for partially filled because here it is partially. We have to maintain same potential. If slab is increased by 2.4 mm. So now new distance is D plus 2.4. Because it's increased and thickness is given as the mm. Now C equals to epsilon naught A by D. We will equate this to so epsilon naught epsilon naught will get cancelled, D and D will get cancelled. The remaining k we can find out.
there's a formula for partially filled So it is the same formula. We are just introducing D here. When the dielectric, yeah, same formula. Done. Done. Let's go next. Next is your series and parallel. Sorry, series combination and parallel combination. See this. Uh, it is similar to your resistance in series. What we have R one plus R two, and in parallel, one by R one plus one by R two. Here it is opposite. In series, it will be one by C one plus one by C two, and parallel will be C one plus C two. Opposite. Opposite of resistance. So formula will be like one by C one. Plus one by C two, one by C three till infinite. And symbol of capacitors will be like this, as you can see here. Resistance was like this, right? If you remember resistance, it was. Capacitors are like this. Inductor will be like this coil. The most important devices of a, like a, this electrostatic.
Es más peligroso. Same thing. C1 plus C2 plus C3. And so on. It's for parallel plate. Let's go for next. Okay. I'm just saying something. Okay. Okay, some points to remember. Now, if the capacitor of parallel plate having number of slabs like uh, this, if you have so many slabs like this, one, two, three, four, like this, infinite. Okay. So what we'll do? We'll just add those slabs. Same way. One T one by K one plus T two by K two means T one means thickness, and so on. This is especially for the dielectric constant K1, K2, K3. Having number of thickness, uh, number of slabs of thickness, T1, T2. They are kept parallel. So we'll do like this. Now, when number of dielectric slabs are of same thickness, thickness is same, but different area of cross section. So what we'll do? Epsilon naught, K1, A1 plus K2, A2 and so on divided by d d is common because it has same thickness and third one it is five capacitors when the ratios are equal c1 by c2 equals to c4 by c3 or even C1 by C4 equals to C2 by C3. That is also okay. So if it comes like that, that is called Wittgen bridge. 
Let us study in next chapter. So what we'll do, we'll just remove C5 and solve C1 and C2 in series, except this one. We'll remove this one. So C1 and C2 will be in series, and C C3 and C4 will be in series. Then finally, the C1 plus C2 will be parallel to C3, C4. It will be like this. This is C1, C2 in C3. And C3, C4 in C3. Then they are in parallel. Are you guys understanding? Yes or no? Okay, make a note of this formula.
done writing okay then we'll i want to know like uh, tomorrow can you be available at 10:30 block here no sir i'll be in college oh you'll be in college till 11 o'clock you have college right yes sir 11:15 okay Eleven twenty. Okay. Then what about one to two? So actually, our college conducts online classes from one o'clock to four o'clock. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Till which day do you you have college? May twenty ninth or something. And then you will have regular classes, right? Yes, sir. Okay. ठीक है ठीक है. Because I have to adjust two classes together, na? No? That's what I was thinking. How to do that? Okay, let's see. Okay guys see you tomorrow bye bye everyone thank you sir bye bye yeah